Hello everybody and welcome back to Old School Gamer here. We're back again with another video today. And so some really great news was released the other day by Square Enix revealing the release date for Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age, which is pretty much just a Final Fantasy XII HD remake, which is only going to be released on PS4 and nothing else, just exclusively to PS4 since it was only released on PlayStation 2 way back in the day. Not way back in the day. The release date for Final Fantasy XII Remake in North America and also Europe will actually be on January 11th, and two days after that we'll be releasing in Japan and also in other regions of Asia, like other parts of Asia, you know, separate parts, on July 13th, which is kind of crazy if you think about it because North America is actually going to be getting a Final Fantasy game, regardless if it's an HD remake or not. We're actually going to be getting a Final Fantasy before Japan, which is crazy because Japan usually always gets all the um cool Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts stuff way before the North American release, either like a week or a few days before, even if it's just one day before. They always get it before us, which is crazy. And they always get all the cool fucking special editions too, which is also, and they also get more fucking features than we do too. But we're actually getting all the same stuff, and we're actually going to be getting it before um, Japan and Asia, two days before, which is still crazy if you think about it. The release date was actually re announced at a special event in Tokyo that was celebrating the 30th anniversary of the whole Final Fantasy series. Kind of cool if that the series is already 30 years old. I didn't even realize that it's already <laughs> hit that 30 year old mark, but that's honestly pretty crazy. I wasn't like, even alive when the first one was um, released. I was born in 96, so I honestly didn't play Final Fantasy until the 10th one was released on PS2. That was the first one I was ever introduced to the Final Fantasy series, which is still great. This is one of uh, probably my second or third favorite one. I yeah, it's my, probably my second one because I played a lot of that. The ninth one is probably my favorite. The Final Fantasy. 12 remake is of course going to include all the you know the original beefed up graphics you know 1080p 60 frames per second of course and maybe it might even include a few extra cutscenes that wasn't released in the North American version back on the PS2 that was only released on the um, Japan version you know we can probably expect a few of those and also a new recorded soundtrack that's just beefed up to you know 7.1 surround sound which I don't really know the difference in between that but that just means that the audio is going to be a lot better and a lot more clear you know HD the fuck out but other than that and there's actually going to be this 100 round trial mode whether it's going to be like a extra mode within the game like when you buy it or if it's just going to be a demo mode it's one of those I'm not too sure I'm not too familiar with that not too much websites actually reported anything about that this actually going to, it's going to be where you can just fight endless waves of enemies all the way up to 100 rounds try to survive all 100 rounds if you can't pretty much just got to restart if you do complete it you'll probably get a special item in the actual campaign story mode game you know, once you actually join into the Final Fantasy XII game, you probably just get, like, some special weapon or some special item, you know, like, a few extra potions, Phoenix Down, something like that. You know, it might just give you a little extra boost to the game or something like that. I don't know. But what is actually the coolest feature that is actually going to be added within this game that was only exclusive to the Japan release back on the PS2 that was actually released as a DLC or maybe even an update for the PlayStation 2. I'm not too sure, but it was only exclusive to the Japan release. And this is actually going to be called the Zodiac Job System, which actually changes a little bit of the um, the battle system, which I honestly didn't play Final Fantasy XII, like I said. Hopefully, I might be able to play it here soon, whenever this does release. But I wasn't able to play it, so I'm not too familiar with how the um, the battle system is and everything. But it says here on the um, Digital Trends website that it adds 12 additional license board, granting party members stat boost and abilities based on their chosen class. And um, also on Polygon, it says that the original one says all the characters would basically become supermen by the bit by the end of the game because you can actually assign like each class member like each party of your member like a certain class like say if you're like playing like Skyrim this is how I'm uh, expecting or how I'm thinking that it worked out like I said I haven't played Final Fantasy 12 but like on Skyrim you can pretty much choose like be like a a warrior or a mage or an archer or something like that well you can pretty much like assign like one of your party members like something like that you know like you want your main guy to be like an archer well sign him as an archer and you know just start building him off that make one guy a healer you know start building his st stats up on that you know something like that you can actually do that but with this new um battling system we'll actually add more abilities to where you can actually upgrade on your enemy or not your enemy your actual player like your teammates you can actually give gives you a little bit more abilities to actually start upgrading up on him to make him a little bit more powerful more of a superman you know like what Polygon says but other than that, that's pretty much what I'm suspecting all that is. I, like I said, I haven't played Final Fantasy XII, so I wouldn't know. 
But like I said, this uh, it seems a little interesting. I'm I'm wondering how that's going to plan out. I still need to play the original version before I even play the HD version, which I probably have to play the HD version before I even try to play the original version. I got really close to getting the special edition of Final Fantasy XII, just like the little hard case. I got really close to getting that, but I found Final Fantasy VIII instead, and I was like, hey, I want that one, because it's the same price. But Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age, will be releasing on July 11th for Europe and, J and North America, and following two days after on July 13th for Japan and also some parts of Asia. I'm just going to point that out again before I end off the video. And I'm also going to say that I am not actually expecting to hear anything about the Final Fantasy 7 HD remake like I'm not expecting to hear anything about like the first episode being released or any type of trailer or anything like that well I'm not expecting to hear anything about that not so either pretty close to the release for Final Fantasy 12 the Zodiac Age or right after the release for it you know I'm I think they're trying to take their time with that trying to um Actually, I don't know if it's going to release after Kingdom Hearts 3 or before Kingdom Hearts 3. Or they're just going to be making all the episodes while Kingdom Hearts 3 is being released or working up towards it. I don't know. Um, we're not, honestly not too sure on it. I actually haven't even put too much thought into it. Um, I might actually start doing that here for a while. I might make a little separate video on it, like my thoughts on Final Fantasy HD Remake. But other than that, guys, I'm rambling now. I guess I'm going to end off the video there. If you guys liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. You know, Leave your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below. Below. you know tell me what you guys think are you guys excited for final fantasy 12 the zodiac age do you think this thing's going to be worth it what do you think about that new battling system that was only exclusive for japan but we're actually getting it now and also what do you think about us actually north america and europe actually getting fucking final fantasy 12 before japan does like what do you think about that to me that's just crazy to even think about i think that's honestly pretty cool and also pretty good for us you know I like it, you know, but other than that, guys, like I said, I'm ending off the video. I want you guys to have a good day, night, afternoon, every time you guys are watching this. As always, keep it old, and I'll catch you guys in the next video later, and as always, thank you for watching.